So the man formerly known as Dewan Huell now officially goes by Dewan Hernandez. That's right, he made the change this month. So the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students got more than just a visit to Dolphins camp. Ryan Tannehill came over and gave him a little look into his helmet. I have to ask you about the hair. So you used to have it all up here, right? Yeah. And then it kind of all went down here, and now you kind of got a little mix in between. Talk yeah. a little bit about the different phases of Birdman. The beard is just... No part of my heritage, you know, being a Viking. You actually have the privilege to be able to grow that out. Me, not so much, you know, <laughs> I can't get much here. Welcome into sports, everybody. It is hot right now here at Hard Rock Stadium. She needs it. We're just minutes away from the Hurricanes ACC opener against North Carolina. So the Miami Hurricanes turnover chain is a one of a kind. But what I'm wearing right now is actually what it was based on. It's called a Miami Cuban link chain. Two of these equal the size of one turnover chain. Everyone here has a nickname. It all depends on whoever they model their game after. It's gotten to the point where they don't even know each other's real names. Now talking baseball, not exactly a morale boosting couple of days for the young Marlins. After squandering away a historic nine run lead to lose Thursday, then giving up a walk of Homer last night in a loss to the Nationals. Tonight, it just got uglier. Putting Washington back in front. Bryce booking it for that one. And then to the fifth, two on Reynolds again driving in two more. You know, you think Don Mattingly would contemplate walking this guy? Nope. Here at the Funky Buddha, they have tons of crazy flavors that you would never even think of. But one beer that caught the attention of many people in Miami was a flavor called Landry's Tears. But tonight there's a little extra incentive. Cat 5U bucket hat giveaway. First 50 students get to rock one of these. Maybe at tomorrow's 3.30 football game against FSU. That question is which player will be wearing black under center to start this ball game against North Carolina? Will it be five? Will it be 12? Nikosi Perry or Malik Rozier? Now the Hurricanes already had lost two of their stars from the previous season. So it's safe to say coach Jim Laranaga is both relieved and excited to put Dewan right in the forefront and the center of this offense. And there are lines like these throughout Marlins Park. This marking the first time in Wimbledon history that none of the top five seeds will compete in the round of 16. But Serena Williams, yeah, she's still in it. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. Determined. There is no better word to describe UM senior Zach Johnson as he aims for the NBA. He's come a long way since he picked up a basketball at age six. My older cousins was always playing basketball. And if I was going to their house, we was always on the court or playing outside. And so just seeing their love for the game, it kind of just inspired me to play. An interest turned into an obsession. The Sherman Circle, um, I used to walk there all, all the time. I'd be there from the moment the sun comes up to the lights going out at the park. So that was my park. And he got really good really fast. When did you know, that, hey, I'm pretty good at this. Maybe I can uh, do this for long time? Uh, middle school. Middle school I kind of grew into the player I was becoming just just being more advanced. So I was like okay I think I could I could do this for a while. Fast forward to his days at Miami Norland High School when Johnson rose to be the number one rated South Florida prospect by select magazines. He worked in nine games and it was something totally different. He was a gamer as I call it. The bigger the game the more he was going to step up. He committed to Florida Gulf Coast University, but reached a roadblock in his first season. He was forced to sit out because of medical reasons. It was the first time somebody told me that, yeah, you, you can't play basketball right now. But he came back stronger than ever, scoring more than 1,000 points as an Eagle. Jack Johnson for the tie. With one year of athletic eligibility left, Johnson chose to transfer and come back home to South Florida and play for Jim Laranega's Miami Hurricanes. Part of his decision was to prove to scouts he could succeed in the ACC, arguably the best basketball conference in the country. But even more, he couldn't wait to be around his loved ones on a regular basis again. And this includes both high school and current teammate Dewan Hernandez. Knowing that I was going to play with him again is really exciting being on the court together. Like every time me and Zach play together, we won a championship, so we're trying to keep that alive. Some people don't even get the chance to, to play that much their senior year. It's gonna be real emotional, but it's gonna be thankful. He grew up here, played here, and now he's eager to run the show here. 
As the next head coach of University of Miami Baseball, Gino Damari aims to bring championships back to a historic program. And when he was officially introduced, Damari made it clear what sets him apart. Nobody wants to win more than me. Nobody. I promise you all that. He's been a hometown guy, and uh, he's always been in the, in the U. Whether it was a player as a coach, uh, he, he belongs here. When legendary head coach Ron Frazier called Gino Damari into his office to offer him a scholarship to play at UM, Damari never anticipated that one day he'd be sitting in that very same office to take over. Damari played at Miami for three years, from 1989 to 1992, and for him it was a dream come true. But after a short stint in the pros, he found a new calling. And the luckiest guy in the world, I mean, who gets to uh, grow up playing at their uh, dream school, I graduated from here. I come back and coach here for almost 20 years, and now I get to take over the program. Damari served as an assistant coach at Miami under all-time great Jim Morris before earning the lead role. They won two national championships and made 10 College World Series appearances during that span. He has a full appreciation of, of what it takes. And as I said there in, in my in the introductory comment, he's a winner and he's going to have this program achieve on the highest level, I'm confident of that. And for Damari, keeping that special environment at the ballpark, that's a priority. The history is in the history. We got to create our own history now. Reporting at the University of Miami Alumni Center, I'm Isaiah Kim Martinez.